The next generation of humanoid robots is revealing itself as countless companies worldwide prepare for a make or break 2026. Unitree just launched its new full-size fake human that looks straight out of the future that Will Smith warned us all about. As the Chinese robotics leader prepares to go public, Silicon Valley's most watched humanoid startup, Figure, is finally bringing its autonomous robots out in public. Meanwhile, competitors are moving prototypes to mass production, and research labs are cooking up applications that would have been out of the question just a year ago. In San Francisco, Figure's humanoid robots made their most high-profile public appearance to date at Salesforce's Dreamforce 2025 conference. The three-day event, headlined by Metallica, reportedly drew its largest in-person crowd ever, with more than 50,000 attendees. Figure's three generations of humanoids appeared on stage during a discussion between founder Brett Adcock and Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff who appears interested in bringing the CRM software's agentic features into the physical form. During the talk, Adcock downplayed the difficulties in scaling production of humanoids, which contrasts with others including Elon Musk, who describes manufacturing Tesla's Optimus robots as extremely challenging. The manufacturing problem is like problem number like 50. The founder predicted that more robots than humans will be working in Figure's office next year and the humanoids will be normal in the real world within five to seven years. Figure recently unveiled its highly anticipated third-generation humanoid, the Figure 3, which is geared toward household, service, and logistics applications. The company's second-generation robot, the Figure 2, which debuted a little more than a year ago, was available for selfies and questions at Dreamforce's help desk. In this clip, the robot answers questions about the king of SAS's Pledge 1% initiative. AI can absolutely do good by solving complex problems, improving lives, and driving innovation. Pledge 1% is a global movement where companies dedicate 1% of product, profit, equity, or employee time to social impact. Would you like more details? Though Figure's founder insists it's a year or two ahead of everyone else in the humanoid race, the competition begs to differ. In Singapore, Sharper Robotics says its highly dexterous robotic hand has entered mass production. The startup, which has raised $17 million in angel seed funding, boasts 22 degrees of freedom, which puts it in the upper echelon of robotic hands entering the market today. The dexterity matches the reported specs for the Generation 3 Tesla Optimus hand that's expected to enter production in 2026. According to Sharpa, the Sharpa Wave's tactile sensing is what sets it apart from the crop of advanced end effectors emerging in the race toward general-purpose robotics. The so-called dynamic tactile array gives each fingertip more than a thousand touch sensors, so it can feel extremely light or firm pressure. It picks up details smaller than a millimeter, which is about the size of a grain of sand, the edge of a sheet of paper, or a strand of human hair. With 30 newtons of force, it can firmly grasp tools, lift common objects, and manipulate parts in industrial or lab settings. It can open and close its fingertips more than four times per second, almost matching the speed of human hands. Because of its fine touch sensors, it can adjust its grip instantly to avoid crushing fragile objects. The tactile sensors send updated data on pressure texture and force readings up to 180 times per second to the Sharpa Wave's artificial intelligence. The AI system uses that stream of data to make split-second decisions about how to move or adjust itself. Sharpa has not publicly revealed pricing, requiring anyone interested in pre-ordering to fill out a contact form on its website. The Sharpa Wave is one of many advanced robotic hands to hit the market in 2025. Human-like end effectors are seen as key to making AI-powered robots useful in everyday life. With dexterous five-fingered hands, robots can use the same tools and controls designed by and for humans. Another recent entry by the Chinese company Wujitech has gained virality for its direct drive design and uncanny performance in a lightweight package. The Wuji hand features a reported 20 active degrees of freedom, allowing each finger to move independently with four joints. Weighing just under 600 grams, or 1.3 pounds, it's slightly heavier than the average person's hand, 
which is typically between 400 and 500 grams or around a pound. Its fingertip output reaches about 15 newtons, enough to handle tools, electronics, and everyday objects with realistic grip strength. The Wuji Hands design differs from the common tendon-driven approach, which uses cables pulled by motors to simulate human muscles pulling tendons. Ever wonder why some robot hands feel like tiny forklifts while others move like puppet strings? Here's the scoop. Direct-driven hands pack a little motor in every joint. That means power and pinpoint control, plus a bit of extra heft. They're heavier than cable-driven designs, but they offer faster, more precise movement with generally easier maintenance. The Wuji hand sets itself apart from other direct drive designs with its tiny motors embedded directly inside each finger joint. Most direct drive designs, like the Allegro hand by South Korea's Wanik Robotics, feature motors in the wrist or palm. Shenzhen-based Wuji Tech says its robo hand has been tested through hundreds of thousands of grips, showing it's built to last. The Wuji Hand is reportedly priced around $5,500, which is remarkably low for the reported capabilities. The Shanghai-based startup Agibot is aiming even lower with its newly launched Omni Hand 2025. The hand's design, which appears to be tendon-driven, features up to 16 degrees of freedom, weighs about 500 grams, and comes equipped with more than 400 tactile and force sensors. Pricing varies by version ranging from around $1,300 for the Agile Edition to $2,000 or more for higher-end pro models. Agibot describes the Omni Hand as a step toward democratizing dexterous manipulation, bringing human-like robotics within reach of smaller labs, startups, and hobbyists. The perceived leader in China's humanoid robotics scene has been steadily unveiling new products as it's rumored to be headed toward an initial public offering on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Launched in early 2023, Agibot has already started mass producing its diverse line of robots, including humanoids, quadrupeds, and mobile robots for use across sectors. The company's new industrial robot, the G2, just nailed a balloon popping bullseye with a bow and arrow, piloted by an engineer more than 2,000 kilometers or 1,200 miles away. A human operator in Beijing remotely controlled the robot located in Shanghai, which is about the same distance as New York to Miami or London to Rome. The humanoid hit the mark on the second attempt, demonstrating millisecond-level response time between human input and robot execution. Though its actions weren't fully autonomous, it showed how precisely machines can mimic human motions from far distances with almost zero latency. According to Agibot, the wheeled G2 possesses the world's first cross-moment arm, meaning each joint can sense and respond to forces from multiple directions at once. This made it possible for the robot's long-distance operator to control tension and release timing enough to hit the balloon. Agibot hasn't publicly revealed pricing for the G2, but its other industrial robots start around $27,000. The company has quickly risen to unicorn status as it competes with Hangzhou-based Unitree Robotics, which is becoming a household name internationally. Launched in 2016 by hardware engineer Wang Xingxing, Unitree just unveiled its next-generation full-sized humanoid, the H2. Standing 180 centimeters, or about 5 feet 9 inches, the H2 builds on the foundation laid by the H1, which was launched almost two years ago in November 2023. Unitree unveiled its latest creation, with a cinematic video showcasing its lifelike dancing and martial arts movements. The company described the humanoid as friendly and designed to serve everyone safely. Its reported weight of 70 kilograms, or 154 pounds, is heavier than the H1, which weighs 47 kilos, or 103 pounds. Much of the initial reaction to the H2 focused on its smooth and minimalist face, which is reminiscent of the problematic humanoids in the 2004 Will Smith vehicle, iRobot. The robot's head has an outer shell that appears to be smooth or soft to the eye, possibly made from plastic or composite. The back of its skull shares similarities with the clean rear panels on the Mecha by Engineered Arts. According to Unitree, the new robot boasts 31 degrees of freedom for more fluidity in motion than its predecessor's 23 joints. Pricing has not yet been publicly revealed, but the original full-size robot starts around $90,000. 
other full-size Chinese humanoids like Oli from Limix Dynamics and Adam by Shenzhen Dobit are priced in the 20,000s for base models. Unitree's quadrupedal and humanoid robots have surged in popularity in the past year thanks to their relatively low starting prices. At Caltech, researchers are training a customized version of Unitree's compact humanoid, the G1, for the future of disaster response as part of a first-of-its-kind multi-robot system. A team of scientists, in collaboration with the Abu Dhabi Technology Innovation Institute, have been developing the novel system called X1 for about three years. It's designed for unpredictable scenarios that may require walking, flying, driving, or a combination of all three. The Unitree humanoid anchors the system. It's outfitted to carry a custom-developed hybrid drone and wheeled vehicle on its back while walking steadily through uneven terrain. It navigates using its cameras, sensors, and onboard artificial intelligence. Caltech's custom algorithms analyze terrain, adjust steps, and plan safe paths through debris and rough surfaces. When it encounters a path that's too narrow or blocked, the humanoid bends over and releases the hybrid bot called the M4. The hybrid robot lifts off and, after landing, transforms into a four-wheeled vehicle. In a disaster scenario, both robots would send real-time data to human operators. After a completed mission, the M4 autonomously navigates back to the G1 humanoid, which can broadcast a signal to help it locate it precisely. The researchers say their next step is to achieve full autonomy so one day they could get around independently, deploy partner robots, and execute search and rescue missions without human assistance. Unitree expects its next-gen compact bot, the R1, to be the best-selling humanoid of 2026 with its entry price of $5,900. Beijing-based Booster Robotics, however, is challenging that with its K1, which stands 90 centimeters or under 3 feet. The company says it scaled down its flagship developer-friendly humanoid, the T1, to lower the barrier of entry into humanoid robotics. Booster hasn't publicly announced pricing, but reports indicate it's in the sub-$5,000 range. While China's humanoids are becoming more accessible and capable, they're also becoming harder to distinguish from real people. For a comprehensive look at the crop of Chinese synthetic humans emerging, check the related video.